All right, so now that we've proved that this works, and pretty well, if I may say, um, let's design the casing for this. Um, I kind of want it to be able to suck or blow depending on what I want it to do. So let's go ahead and check, a, check that out. All right, guys, so this is the model that we're going to build. Um, let me show you a little bit of how it's going to look like and the features. So basically, the way that it's going to work is th this is going to be our fan, and then this is what's going to hold our boost converter. If we hide this lid, then you can see that the wires are going to go through the base here, and they're going to connect to the boost converter, and the boost converter is going to connect to the output here the well the input of the power um in order to do this i actually took measures and designed all of the pieces that i would need so for example here this is the model boost converter that i have i can also upload it to thingiverse if you guys are interested um i modeled the uh the usb port and um and the fan so yeah, I'm going to need to do some, uh, fix some couple details that I didn't do before I printed it, but I'll show you guys what the whole process looked like. So yeah, so I started with the, with the fan and then I made a box. Let me hide this for a second. And then I, this is the, I modeled this a bo uh, box so that it would cut the wedges where the fan, where the filter would be able to go put it in place and then I cut it then I place the fan where I wanted it and made a cut and these wedges are what's going to hold the fan together well in place Then we made a cut to get the wedges. And then I added the boost, put it in place, and then in order to keep it in place, I used uh, and and give it some space so that we can tie up the the cables. I used a couple of cones and a couple of cylinders to keep it in place. As you can see, so the these cones match with the holes, and the and the and and the base the flat bases match with the flat parts of the of the boost converter. Now we made a now I made a box, and this is what's what's going to hide the boost converter and hold the cabling. I sh shelled it. This eliminated one of the faces so that it could be in contact directly with the rest of the housing. Then these are some registration sites so that the lid matches the, the spot. I added the uh, hole for the USB port. I did the cut. Then I needed a couple of these cylinders that I'm going to use in order to uh, release the tension from the cables that go in in case you pull on this or that so that it doesn't tug on the soldering that we're gonna do here. Then I made a couple planes here so that I could cut the top part off in order to make the lid. So we're gonna be able to slide the fan down this way and this is gonna be the lid that's gonna cover it. Then we then I added fillets all around in order to make it easier to scrape it out of the print bed and also make it look a little more finished. And then that's about it. So now I'm gonna do a couple of the fixes that I needed to do. So basically, number one is remove this section of of the wedges because. Um, basically, it doesn't let the cables go in there. So what I'm going to do is going to I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to extrude it 
in a cut to an object and that's going to be the opposite face and that should eliminate the whole thing so okay and now as you can see we have eliminated that area Another thing that I needed to do was increase the tolerances for the for the faces on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and pull. I'm going to choose press pull, and I'm going to add a couple microns to each side. Q is the shortcut for press and pull. Well, it seems like that should be fine. So yeah, so let's go to the print and the assembly. Thanks. If you like this or any of my other videos, please check out my GoFundMe campaign. All the proceeds go towards my education. You can click here for that. Or if you want, you can do it through PayPal in the description below. Speaking of that, don't forget to check out the description below for relevant links and important details. While you're down there, make sure to leave me all your comments, questions, or suggestions so I can keep making better content for you. Finally, make sure you click that thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think would be interested. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. You can click over here for other videos and playlists that you might find interesting. See you next time.